Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Psalm devotional. Pepper, come, come. Oh, Pepper's trying to get up on bed with me. I'm in my room today. Hold on a minute. Say hello. Come, hello, say hello. <laughs> um, how are you all? It's uh, Thursday morning. Feels like the beginning of April. Wow, April 1. 2021 here we are and it's eight o'clock in the morning in california and i don't know where you're tuning in from but i hope that you're having a good morning or a good day you may already be through the day um we read psalm 91 yesterday and it was such a beautiful psalm to declare over our lives i hope that you had a chance to do it a second time in the rest of your day um, today we're going to be in Psalm 92. We're still in the Passion Translation. Sorry about that. I'll stop moving that. And it says a Sunday morning song of praise. You know, Sunday is coming and we will certainly be praising him this Sunday as it is Easter Sunday, the most beautiful day on the calendar. Uh, my daughter and I were having a discussion about calendars and, and, um, celebrations and holidays. And of course, she was realizing, as I was explaining to her, that some people don't celebrate these holidays, such as Easter or Christmas, and they believe they're pagan holidays and that they don't, um, they don't participate. <laughs> and she was so um, sad about that. And she just said, even though we don't know the particular day of the year that the resurrection occurred, absolute date or the absolute date she was talking about of jesus birth um she said it's not about that it's about celebrating him and what we would do what could we possibly imagine our lives to be without him it's so true um so today we get to read ahead of time prophetically the Sunday morning song of praise for Easter Sunday morning and um you can read it again on Sunday because we won't the meeting on Sunday, but <clears throat> um, also today, I feel prompted by the Lord to do a prophetic act for you with you. So if you have some oil handy, I was um, just posting that if you could go get some oil, that would be awesome. I have my little um, spoon here, and I've got a little bit of oil in it. And we're going to do something with that today. And I'm going to explain to you why when we read. So, yay. Good morning, Caitlin. All right. So I'm so thankful that you would join me all these 92 times in the Psalms. It's amazing to me that we can meet through this time of our lives together in this way. Even though we don't live in the same towns, uh, somehow God has brought us together. Oh, you have your oil ready. Yay. <laughs> you're going to get blessed. <laughs> All right, so um, let's start reading and um, then we'll pray into the psalm. It's so enjoyable to come before you. Isn't that a fun way to start a psalm instead of all the dread? <laughs> it's so enjoyable to come before you with uncontrollable praises spilling from our hearts. How we long to sing our praises over and over to you. To the matchless God, high and exalted over all. At each and every sunrise, we will be thanking you for your kindness and your love. As the sun sets and all through the night, this is what we shall be thanking him for is his kindness, number one, and his love. Um, okay. We will keep proclaiming, you are so faithful. Melodies of praise will fill the air as every musical instrument joined with every heart overflows with worship. No wonder I'm so glad I can't keep it in. <laughs> I'm 
going to put my Bible in front of me. Okay. No wonder I can't. I, no wonder I'm so glad I just can't keep it in. It's what the psalmist says. Lord, I'm shouting with glee over all you've done for all you've done for me. What mighty miracles and your power at work, just to name a few. Depths of purpose and layers of meaning saturate everything you do. I love that that scripture right there. <laughs> Depths of meaning. Depths of meaning. Uh, and layers, I'm sorry, depths of purpose and layers of meaning. Can you say that? Depths of purpose and layers of meaning saturate everything you do. But God is a God of depth and layers of purpose and meaning. And he saturates us. He saturates um, everything he does. Such amazing mysteries found within every miracle that nearly everyone seems to miss. Those with no discernment can never really discover the deep and glorious secrets hidden in your ways. To me, the psalm has so much to say about the more of God, how we want more of him, more understanding, more depth. Um, he has glorious secrets hidden in his ways. We want to understand those glorious secrets. This is so um, mysterious to me and so profound that the layers and the depths of him just go on and on and on. And we want to go there with him. It's true the wicked flourish, but only for a moment, foolishly forgetting their destiny with death that they will all one day be destroyed forevermore. But you, O oh Lord, are exalted forever in the highest place of endless glory, while all your opponents, the workers of wickedness, will all perish forever separated from you. Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. Can you say that out loud? Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You've empowered my life for triumph. We have to declare this. You've empowered my life for triumph. He wants us to be victorious. How does he do it? By pouring fresh oil over us. That's a clue as to why I asked you to get some oil. <laughs> You said that those lying in wait to pounce on me would be defeated, but now it's happened right in front of my eyes, and I've heard their cries of surrender. Yes, look how you've made all your lovers to flourish like palm trees. Don't you love palm trees? I miss the street that I grew up on that was absolutely lined every 10 feet or so there was a palm tree I used to just run and touch them or skateboard or ride my bike and hit them as I go by big and strong beautiful palm trees one after another after another and when the winds would come the the branches would fall into the streets and crash down they were big and heavy and then we'd play with those like hockey sticks <laughs> and fun big brooms um Look how you've made all your lovers to flourish like palm trees, each one growing in victory, standing with strength. Oh, they grow in victory and they stand with strength. Oh, that's so true. You've transplanted them into your heavenly courtyard where they are thriving before you. For in your presence, they will still overflow and be anointed your presence they will still overflow and be anointed in your presence they will still overflow and be anointed and this one i love for me i don't know about you but this next verse really speaks to me even in their old age they will stay fresh <laughs> I love that. bearing luscious fruit and abiding faithfully Listen to them. With pleasure, they still proclaim, you're so good. You are my beautiful strength. You've made, you've never, 
never made a mistake with me. You're my beautiful strength and you've never made a mistake with me. You're my beautiful strength and you've never made a mistake with me. That's what we are declaring today. Well, friends, that is all of Psalm 92. Um, let me see if there's a note or two that I want to bring up before we do what we're going to do. Um, so I don't know what you think about this. It's just a note down in the um, commentary. It says, ancient Jewish tradition holds that Adam composed this psalm on the first Sabbath of creation, and it was to be sung by the Levites on the Sabbath in the temple. So I don't, um, it doesn't say who the author is here. And that's just ancient Jewish tradition saying that we don't really know, but that's who the Jewish people attribute this psalm to. And on that note with Adam and Eve, I don't know if anyone knows who Kat Kerr is, but she's the lady with the pink hair who has been to heaven many, 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 many times. And she has the, re the assignment to reveal what heaven's like to us so that we just have courage and hope. And today I was listening to her um, just a little bit this morning as I was getting dressed and getting ready for the day that um, people often want to know who is in heaven and who she's seen. And she talked about Adam and Eve today and how they did, they did make it to heaven and how um, they were yeah, instructed to learn and to know God again after the fall and um, how they had to instruct their children about God and how they had to teach that teach their children um, his ways to bring back people bring back humanity into the obedience of the Lord and so she <clears throat> talked about how she has seen them so many other people and celebrities that you would wonder if they um, accepted Christ, you know, maybe on, on their uh, deathbed. And some of the ones that she has seen would just amaze you. And what really, what it does for me when I hear it is it makes me know that God's grace and mercy is huge. And um, he's, he's after and pursuing people right up until their last breath. And the mercy and the kindness of the Lord, as the psalm says, we will continue to um, declare his kindness and his love. It's just amazing to me. Um, I love the translation in verse 10 here, where it says, your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You've empowered my life for triumph by pouring fresh oil over me. That's going to be our focus today. And down in the notes, it says that the Septuagint reads, I will raise my horn high like a rhinoceros. Or like in the Hebrew, it says a, like a wild ox. And in my old age, I will still have plenty, plenty of oil, plenty of anointing, which we just want to grab a hold of today. Um. In the last verse, um, in, in verse 15, it says, you're so good, you're my beautiful strength, and you've never made a mistake with me. And down in the notes, it says, you are just, and you are never, never unfair. That's who we, that's who we serve. So today, I just, um, <clears throat> I would pray through this, but instead, I'm going to um, just do something with you. Um, you excuse me, already probably know about prophetic acts, but I'm just going to talk just for a minute about how when we pray and intercede and when we pray through the word, sometimes when God highlights a verse to us, it's really important to stop and um, for lack of better words, to act out the verse and to make what we would say a prophetic declaration by putting action to the words, by, by somehow uh, moving 
and doing something having to do with the verse that we're that we're relating to or that the Holy Spirit is highlighting on our life. I, I I'll give you an example. I think that I already gave you this example. I know I told two other people about this. So I can't remember if I just spoke it out to friends or if I actually brought it to our attention on one of the devotions. But uh, someone that I admire so much that is an intercessor <clears throat> uh, talked about the verse in the Old Testament where it says, your um, hearts that are stony, I will make um, malleable. I will begin to soften and you, you will have a soft heart before me, not a stony heart. And she was, this person was reading that verse and the Holy Spirit said, I want you to get some, like the Play-Doh that you get in those little yellow cups for kids. And she was able to find, there's different colors and she found white which I thought that's unusual. I don't, maybe I have seen white, but I don't remember. Um, so she found white because she wanted the person she was praying for. She wanted their heart to be pure again. So she got white and then she took it out of the cup and, and she would walk around the house and go like this with the Play-Doh and soften it in her hands and declare the verse out loud. This person that I'm praying for whose heart is stony and impure right now, the, um, the Lord says, I will make your heart soft. I will make your heart pure again. And she would just declare it into the atmosphere. And that's what we would call a prophetic act when we're praying. And so today I want to take this verse about anointing oil, even in our old age, making us strong and mighty. I want to take that verse um, and do what it says. Uh, when I read it or earlier, um, when I was getting ready for this today, I felt like the Lord says, do you want this fresh anointing oil? Do you want this um, fresh oil over you that will make you strong and mighty? Do you want to be strong and mighty? If you want to be strong and mighty, then I want you to go get, not a lot, just a little bit of oil. We don't have to make a mess, although there's nothing wrong with making a mess. Um, and pour it over yourself. I wish we could be in the same room and pour it over each other and declare it together, but we're gonna pour it over ourselves. And we are going to, today, we're going to declare uh, this verse. Um, uh, I'll read it again. Verse 10, your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You've empowered my life for triumph by pouring fresh oil over me. And so what I felt like, I'm just going to get my little spoon here. And I have um, probably a teaspoon of oil in here. And my hair I'm going, <laughs> I hope I can do this. I'm going to pour fresh oil over my head and declare, I want you to do this with me, that the Lord is making me strong and mighty. The Lord himself is coming right now to make us, you and I, strong and mighty as we pour fresh anointing oil over our heads. So I'm going to do that right now. Lord, I declare that you are making me strong and mighty as I pour fresh anointing oil over my head. Father, I declare with my brothers and sisters here that as we pour this oil over our head, that you are coming with fresh anointing over us. The fresh anointing that you speak of here in verse 10 and in the following verses where you say in your presence, they will still overflow and be anointed. God, we pray for your presence that we would overflow and be anointed. Fresh anointing today, might and strength, fresh anointing, even into our old age will we stay 
fresh and empowered. Lord, we ask for a freshness. We ask for an empowering. We do this, Lord, because we believe your word and we we proclaim and declare out loud with our own mouths, Lord, that even in our older years, even now, we will have a fresh outpouring and anointing over us. We believe your word. This is how we come into your presence and tell you that we believe you and believe your word to be true, Lord. We will bear fresh, luscious fruit abiding faithfully. We declare that we will bear luscious fruit and we will be like those strong palm trees. Uh, the notes down here say they are like cedars in Lebanon and that they are immortal and immovable. And we say that we are immovable, immortal, that we come with this new fresh oil this morning that will make us strong and mighty even into our old age. And we take that fresh anointing, God. We have longed for your presence. We have longed for that new, the newness, the freshness, the fruit. Lord, we just, we say everything of the old be gone in Jesus' name. Let the new come, the freshness and the new of your spirit. Yes, Lord. We invite the miraculous into our life. Into uh, We invite signs and wonders to follow us. We invite the angelic hosts that you would unleash to break through into our lives, into our families' lives with fresh and new anointing. God, we need this. We need you. We need this so much, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Praise you, Lord. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Open our mouths. Open our lives. Open our hearts. Oh, praise you, Lord. Fill us to overflowing. Fill us to overflowing. Thank you, Lord. Every person that comes along with us in this journey today, every single one stops and receives a fresh anointing. Every single one, don't pass by any of us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. We are going to see some fruit today. Caitlin, I love you. You are going to see some fruit today. You are going to see some turnaround today, girl. You are going to see change. You're going to see uh, lightness. You're going to see, um, wow, you're going to see God. You're going to see God. You are a faithful woman. Wow, God is so all over you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I'm so honored to be friends with people like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come in your power today. Every single person that comes on after this, every single one, the power of the Holy Spirit comes on you so powerfully, changing, rearranging, restructuring, renewing every cell in your body. Lord, come into every cell of our bodies, renewing us. Holy one, holy one, holy one. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right. April 1st. We love you, April. Come on, April. Let the fourth month of 2021 be a bursting forth of fruit and anointing. In Jesus' name, amen.
Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. <clears throat> All right, have a marvelous day. Bye.